Welcome to Keys to Divine Healing. I'm your host, David Yannis, and I want to talk to you today about let the man of God believe with you. What does that mean? That means you need to go come into church, come into a service, come into a man that you or woman that knows how to pray, and you let them believe with you for your miracle. It is a special time of faith that's happening there when a person that has an anointing to move in a miracles, to move in signs and wonders, to move in healing, and is, is there available for you. You need to make every effort to get there. When I was a kid, I used to go to see Shamback. I used to go to go see uh, more Cirillo. I used to go to, to, to see other great ministers of God coming through the coming through the, the Houston area, whether they were having a tent meeting, whether they were in a, the Coliseums, or whether they were in a convention center, I would always make a way, even when I was a kid, to go see them because I wanted to be under that anointing. I wanted to be under that anointing and be blessed. In fact, I believe it was uh, R.W. Shambach. He was having a service, and I was in the tent meeting, and I, I went underneath the chairs when it was time for the prayer, and when he asked for those that need a prayer, I popped out of underneath the chair, and he just laughed. He goes, well, come on, boy. And he went over there and blessed me because he, he knew I was hungry for God. Whenever you have a chance, you need to get in front of a man of God to get prayed for. Now, I was traveling in South Africa, and as I was traveling in South Africa, I was preaching at a church. Uh, the night before this, the testimony I'm about to tell you happened, my friend Darlene was standing beside her pastor who had a twisted ankle. And it was really bad. And I prayed for her, and we all seen her ankle become unswollen, and it moved back into position. Now, the next night, I'm sitting with Sister, I'm standing there at my book table, and Sister Darlene is there. And as Sister Darlene is there, there's, um, she comes up to me and tells me, Pastor Yanis, I am going to pray this week. I am going to believe this week that you have a, a supernatural anointing. I'm going to fast, I'm going to pray, and on the last day of the service that you have, I'm going to believe that God is going to heal me. She goes, so I'm going to fast, I'm going to pray, and I'm going to read my Bible. And I'm going to expect God to do something on the last day. I, I listened to her and I was kind of like, hmm. I said, Sister Darlene, let me talk to you for just one minute. Let me just, let me, let me just tell you what God is telling me. You seen your pastor healed right in front of you yesterday. You seen that swollenness come out of her leg. You seen her leg snap back into position. You seen her stand there walking normal without any pain. That's amazing. That's powerful. You should know that God will do the same for you. I know you have faith. I know that you understand God's miracle work and power. Secondly, in no, no amount of works, fasting, praying, and reading the word is going to replace faith. God's not inter interested in what you're putting aside to get this miracle. God just wants your faith. You just have to believe. And I, again, I know you have faith. Thirdly, God has sent me, David Yannis, on a plane from Houston, Texas to South Africa, Peter Maritzburg, South Africa, to pray for you. He sent me here to lay hands on the sick that they may recover, to cast out demons, and to bring deliverance to those that are captive. I know that God sent me here to pray for those that are sick. I know that God sent me to lay hands on those that are in need. And right now, my sister, I know that if we pray for you right now, that God will heal you. As I talked to her and as we believed together, I prayed. I grabbed four, three or four other men of God with us. And I said, sister, look at this. If one could put a thousand in the flight, two could put ten thousand. Do the math. We're all praying for you. And as we did this, we prayed and we prayed and we prayed with her. And she starts screaming that her back was hurting her more, that it was hurting even more. And I know that that devil was fighting. And I said, well, we've got to go around the horn. We're going to keep praying. So we kept praying. We kept believing. We kept saying, God is going to heal. God is delivering. God is making this possible even now. And as we did that, the pain went away. Now, her back didn't heal that second, didn't heal that hour. But she said she, the, the, the pain that was there originally had left. Well, when she went home, they're driving in the car home, and her back start popping like popcorn. You just hear popping noises, popping noises. The kids look around and say, Mom, we're playing our game. You're making noise. The, the husband's like, do you have to really do that right now? And as she, when she woke up in the morning, 
She said her husband was, did not get any sleep because her back popped the whole night, but when she got out of the bed, her back was healed. Let the man of God believe with you. Don't wait for someone else to come to town. If you see anyone in faith that is there, you run to that altar. You say, pray with me and make a connection in faith and let our faith ignite together. That's what God does. Amen. God bless you. We'll talk to you next time.